it's, it's right there. <laughs> hey guys, it's Katie. Oh my goodness, I finally got to watch after we collided. Okay, so I will admit, kind of avoided it. Oh, you know, there's been so much drama in this fandom with the whole movies. It's been like, it's annoyed me to death, but I was finally like today, I was like, like mom and I were coming home and she's like, oh, what should we watch? And we've been on a Golden Girls kick. So I was like, oh, Golden Girls? And she's like, oh, I was like wondering if there's any movies you wanted to watch, you know, since it'll just be us and we have time. And I was like, after we collided, I, ke I kept thinking about it. Like I thought about it in Arizona. I was like, we need to watch it. Like I just, it kept popping in my brain. And I literally so much recently have been wanting to finish the series because the next book I need to read is After Ever Happy. And I keep thinking about it nonstop if I really want to re read After Ever Happy next. And I was like, I really want to watch the movie before I read the book. You know, it's 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 out. You know, it's out before. You know, it's been out. So I would love to be able to watch it before I read the very final book. Um. So yeah, so I just really was feeling it today. I was like, let's do it. So we did it. And oh my god, it was so good. Ah! It was so freaking good. I wish the lighting was a little... There. okay um but it was so so good i have notes let's go through my notes um oh my god that's a lot of scrolling okay so i screamed at the opening the opening literally had me be like <gasps> i loved it so much um i said to myself okay good it's been so long since i read the second book hope like I mean, me and my good memory, unfortunately, but I was like, it's been a good minute since I read the se I read the second book. Like, it shouldn't, like, I won't have to be, like, analyzing to death the differences. I still did that. Probably not as much as if I did read it more recently, but when did I read that? Like, 2019, so it's been a couple years. So I had had, and so much happens in each book, so I had time. I was like, it's a good thing that there's been time since I read the second book because I'd be comparing it way too much, and I did compare it, but I feel like I did a good job at... Being able to just enjoy it for the ad for the movie instead of comparing it to the book the entire time. Um, Trevor is so different but enjoyable. I was really scared about Trevor. I think I talked about that in my reviewing of the the trailer. I think I talked about that how scared I was for Trevor because he, he seemed really he was so good. He ended up being one of my y'all. I. Well, I'm going to be, I, I will never lie. I'm going to be honest. I literally talked so much shit on Trevor because I thought he was going to be so bad in the movie. Like, I thought he it was going, like, I really, the trailer did not do him justice. The trailer destroyed him as, like, a character. It made him seem so I annoying. I see that. Yeah, like, him, he, made, he looked so annoying. He ended up being one of my favorite parts. Dylan Sprouse, hold on, we'll get to that, but he absolutely killed this role. He did phenomenal. I am so impressed with him. So yeah, so D Trevor's so different, but enjoyable. Uh, love Kimberly. Love Kimberly. Uh, Joe is adorable. Queen Joe forever. I love Joe so much. I met her in person. She's amazing. Still love Harden. Yeah, hero, amazing. Still love them. Still love them. We're gonna get to. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to that. Hold up. Uh, what, no, my thought. We're gonna. I had a thought in my head. We'll get to my thought later. Don't worry. Um, wh who who made Vance a jerk? <laughs> Vance is not that like Vance annoyed me since the like start of it. Now, sure, maybe you could argue it flowed with the movie. I still feel like it could have been it done without. Me, it gave the movie a little edge. Though. Yeah, it gave, it, but like it wasn't really necessary. I feel like Vance in the book would have been would have easily fit in perfectly, and it would have been kind of nicer than just having like this he weird this cocky attitude. Yeah, he kind of has that in the book, but like it's I I feel like it's different. But whatever. Oh my god! So I couldn't get over the fact that it's literally Caroline from the Vampire Diaries. That made me so happy. I was like, yes, it's Queen Caroline. What is this? Oh, the Great British Baking Show. Maybe Harding can do that with his mum. His mum. His mum. His mum. Yes! I love her. I have so many notes. I thought it was just his mom being cute. Um, okay. Y'all. I was so freaking impressed and blown away and in love with this movie. And like when I mean that, like I mean that. Because like, I had a lot of doubts. I'm yes. not going to lie. Yes, I did. had, yes. She heard me rant about this yes. movie for months. And I wanted to watch it and she was busy ranting. <laughs> well, we had to wait for it to be on Netflix. It's been on Netflix. Well, 
Oh yeah, I've been avoiding it like the plague. There was too much. There was the it's not my fault the drama deterred me okay anyways so i was really like you know scared no offense this movie made the first one look so like yes like cheap low budget like uh, it's still a good movie it's still a good movie but it, they stepped the hell up they said upgrade times 1010 and that's on period and i'm so here for it I could not it cannot express enough how here for it I am. It made my heart so happy. Like I'm literally gritting. Like I love when a movie can make me feel like this. Like I'm on a high right now. I'm on cloud nine. I'm on Mars. You can't tell me where I am. I'm where I wanna be. I love when a movie can do me like this. Actually make me feel alive and on a high. We love that. And that's what this movie did. So it was such good quality. Did you notice that? Like how well the quality upgraded? Like it was, it was just really so good. better. It felt like a genuine movie. Like it, it felt like I was watching a that, true like, darkness in the one room because I don't know why. Like it was just good quality. It was better, yeah. Yeah. And it's like um Rogers, Roger just mwah, love Roger. I'm really depressed about we're gonna talk about this, but the third and fourth movie, I'm scared. Um, but uh who, did you ask who Roger is? He's a director. Oh. Um, he's so funny. Uh, it's such a well done script. That was really, so like everything. I'm oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Okay. Oh no, is he gonna fall again? Okay, we're good. Um, so everything was just so well done, and like it was just such a good like script. It was such a good. It just makes it just like it truly feels like a well done movie like watching it you could just tell the quality was better i'm sorry watching the first one you could tell it wasn't to the level that in like most movies it just wasn't the same this was definitely like it went above and beyond on this movie and it was just so good i think we should pause on your action for the rest of this video i don't think people are gonna want that <laughs> okay well i will try it okay um Joe can talk in an English at, or American, American accent. accent. Joe, a queen. I love her. Okay, so, so cute. yeah, I put this movie off for so long because of the drama, but I'm so happy I'm watching it. Well, I watched it. It's literally blown my expectations, and it was only the first 10 minutes. Like, the first 10 minutes, I was like, this is gold. Like, this blew my expectations out of the water. Like, this is phenomenal. This is amazing. Chef kiss. Like, I was literally so impressed in the first 10 minutes uh i think i was really impressed in the opening like i was just like wow this just feels cinematically better than the first one um oh boy. mom and i lost it we're like that's anna freaking oh. todd that's anna todd her cameo was so it was perfect. perfect it literally had me screaming jenny was next to her it was amazing i absolutely loved it that was so cute no offense, it was a way better cameo than the first one, where she's just literally holding a door for Tessa at the very end of the movie. Um, Trevor was Trevor at the club. I definitely felt like I saw more of Trevor the book, Trevor at the club. Um, oh, the cat dragged me in line was funny. When Harden, when Seth's like, oh, look what the cat dragged in. Harden's like, what? why do people even say that? What cat's dragging me in? I Harden was hysterical yeah, this yeah. movie. I enjoyed him. They gave him great one-liners this movie. Thank you, Anna Todd. She wrote the script. Oh, nice. And then immediately was like, ew, Steph the Snake. Anyone in this fandom knows as soon as Steph's on those on the uh, screen, we go, boo! Snake. Um, Molly really did look really awesome. I loved her outfits. Now the clip-ins no, weren't okay. the best, but hey, I really enjoyed the hair upgrade from the first to, movie. Yeah. Well, it's just really how that's it's just what they could do. Right. Um, so I and her hair, in my opinion, looks better than the first movie. So, um, honestly, I'm gonna admit this: there was unnecessary cursing, in my opinion, and that's coming unnecessary, like not needed, forced, like enacting things can look forced. And I felt like the cursing, like when, when the first scene at the frat, I think it was the first scene of the frat, like that's what I'm talking about. Um. There, there was just like she dropped the f bomb every five seconds, and it was just so forcibly cursing. Like cursing, usually, I feel like someone told me this once. I feel like Brown may, might have told me this once. Cursing should come natural on stage because mm -hmm. it has such a shock factor. If you're going to do it, it should be a natural thing, not mm -hmm. a forcibly thing. I swear we learned that in theater, yeah. but um, 
but it sounds like good advice no matter what but uh yeah it just to me it felt really forced it felt like there was it was unnecessary at times it was like oh my god you're saying it every five seconds we get it i honestly i wrote what is this jersey shore because no oh, offense yeah. molly yeah. reminded me of jersey shore with the five yeah. second cursing the f-bomb this f-bomb like what did it like i was like what am i watching jersey shore like it, i seriously thought i was watching it um that i'm just saying i'm just saying it's my opinion the club phone call i was wheezing that was so funny and amazing drunk tessa is my fave dylan did amazing let's have a moment dylan is one of the care i just have to give him so much props and i honestly i feel absolutely horrible that i literally talked like crap about it because he killed it he, he was the most it. impressive part one of the most impressive parts of this movie to me because i was really scared i was ready for dylan to play a sarcastic role where all he did was sarcasm because that's what the trailer was showing me was he was playing a sarcastic ass role where all he did was give a smirk comments and i was like okay great we get to see the same like that's it like it's not no no trevor no nothing it's just the sarcastic character which no offense dylan is known to play as well his mo a lot of the time and i was like come on but no he killed it he did so amazing so great he put layers to the character he had a death he brought book character that he brought book character trevor there but even like more like he really added to the story in such a great way where it fit naturally and was just so good and so awesome i really like Words cannot express how great of a job he did. I literally want him to win an award for it. He did so good. It was incredible. Amazing. He did such a great job. Blew my expectations right out of the water. So yeah, I have to give him a million props, especially because I feel so horrible about like being such a hater to it to begin with. I will admit I was a hater and I feel really bad. So forgive me. Dylan Sprouse, if you ever know I exist, I'm so sorry for doubting you. You did incredible. You are amazing. Chef kiss. Oh no. There she goes stay phone um okay so yeah dylan's amazing here's acting here's acting was good there were some parts i felt like could have been a little better but he did really really good there were parts hold on, hold on. i, liked his. I, thought he I really loved his that. acting there was just so, like small snippets it was me being nitpicky there were small snippets where i felt like he could have done a little better i still think he did absolutely phenomenal and i put other notes in it about how great he did it's a review. Mm -hmm. Um the freaking Trevor. I'm crying. Freaking Trevor kick. And that kick was much better than watching it in the trailer. The trailer made it look so sad. It was much better. Um Harden's hair. Hard eye emoji con. Amazing. Thank you, whoever made him grow it out. God bless you. A million thank yous. I love you. Thank you so much for that because it looked so much better this movie. I mean, it's, it still looks good in the last movie. It just looked so good in this movie. Um, and I said, yep, that's rated R. This was a rated R movie, kids. 120%. Uh, and I said, well, that's Hess, all right. It was actually really cool getting to see, like, those scenes because that truly was Hessa in a nutshell. Um, oh, yeah, I said, Hotel Tessa, I'm wheezing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when they woke up in the morning and he goes, Tessa, where are you? Or like he says, Tessa. And she like answers back angrily and he goes, the other Tessa. No, she said, I forget. What Tessa do you want? The other Tessa. Oh, yeah. What I Tessa do you want? Tessa. The other Tessa. The one that's not angry, basically. And yeah, oh, Tessa so looks so gorgeous. Um, the hotel hallway, I'm shook. Both their acting's amazing. But that's what I mean. Hero did such a great job. Job. His acting was incredible. I was just nitpicking. I'm sorry. He did amazing. Um, I screamed when Landon popped up. I missed Landon. I don't know why. I just missed him. It was like a comfort thing seeing him. I'm like, Landon! It's been so long. Um, probably because he's like the only one of the OG characters that like was actually good. Oh! My phone doesn't want to stay. Ah! Stay. Stay. Believe in you. Okay. Got him. Okay, so the birthday present. Wait, so Trevor's birthday present to Tessa? Wasn't that so cute? The car. Like him researching cars for her. Oh, oh that really like hit me in 
a heart. Um, I like the Kindle better. <laughs> Listen to everybody. Well, yeah, in the book, it was better. You, you root, I rooted more for Harden. Sorry. Dylan was just that good that I rooted, I was enjoying my Trevor scenes because I hate Trevor in the book. Trevor is like my least favorite character. Actually, no. Steph and Molly. Full Steph. Anyways. I remembered this scene from the book. I was like, oh my god, I know what's about to happen. And I did see that, that the scene where she comes into the apartment it's dirty. But I remembered it because I was like, oh yeah, this happens in the book. She cleans everything and then he walks in. Um, but I remembered they did leak the scene of when he walks in. Uh, the freaking Kindle scene? Stop. The note he left? Oh my heart. His mom. His mom, the perfect actress. Like, oh, so good. I love seeing the mom and Tessa bond. It was so cute. Um, and it was totally like it, like when they like when her mom when the mom was sleeping on on the couch, and like they like Tessa left and went to their bedroom. I was like, oh my god, this is totally like them in the book. And yes, I was totally hyping them up. I was like, I can feel sex scene coming. I was like, it's time to hype them up because it's just coming. I know it. The white dress, I'm obsessed. I have a bone to pick with people. So apparently a lot of people gave Tessa like shit for her outfits. Her outfits were so cute. Like I don't know what you guys were talking about. Like people had me scared for her outfits in this movie. I'm like, what are they talking about? What, why are they saying that, that she looks horrible? Cute and just original. Yeah, she was so cute. It was totally Tessa. Like that's literally supposed to be her style. Um Oh yeah, I was like, no, we have to go back to her mom now. And then yeah. no one, her, so cringe. You could just totally see she was uncomfortable. Like, Noah, sir, you make me uncomfortable. And then we left mom quick, which was nice. Thank God. Yes, I know. But I'm pretty sure in the actual book, she stays for a little bit. She does. Uh, and then, no, the nightmare made me so sad. That made me cry. The cloud PJs, chef kiss. Uh, Tessa's perfect day. Harden is so funny, yes. Harden and yoga, I'm wheezing. That was from the book. And the yoga scene was so funny. The shower scene, my god. My god. Does the bottle god. really jump out in the book or is that something that happens? Does the what? Yeah, the bottle of soap. I swear to god, that had to be one take. Because, again, as we saw, they struggled to get those stretch pants off. So I swear that, that was not supposed like to happen. Stuff, right? And it just happened. And they're like, we're not doing it again. Go. <laughs> we're not doing this scene again. You got to get over it. Well, honestly, you're an actor. You just keep, you go, you take your punches and you roll with them. Um, but I swear when they were done filming, they're like, we're not doing that again. We're that, that's cut, print, and pr finish, and print, or whatever it is. Smith is so so adorable. I love seeing him with Harden. And then don't say, don't say the F word. And then he just keeps going F, S, F, S. Uh -huh. And Harden's trying to hide it from Tessa. In the book, he actually sleeps over. It's really fun. I'm pretty sure he sleeps over and it's really funny because Smith wants nothing to do with Tessa but loves Harden. Like, is up his butt, loves Harden. Um... I totally was like, oh, they're about to have sex in this office. And they did. I called it. I was really proud of myself. Um, and then the bracelet he got. Oh, yeah, that was the cutest cute. thing ever. That happens in the, uh, in the book. But it was just cute seeing it in person. And yeah, I said, oh, it's funny seeing the scenes that they released prior. Because um, I thought it was going to, like, it, it was kind of annoying to me at, when I saw them. Because I was like, well. Why can't I just enjoy it when I watch the movie? But it was kind of cool. Like, oh yeah, I saw this. And there was a lot I didn't see, so like that was good. Um, but I said it's funny this shit that's actually supposed to be in book one that they managed to squeeze into this one. Um, I miss the old actor for Harden's dad. Oh, yeah, me too. I missed him. I like him too. He was really good. Wasn't he on Grandmom's like soap opera or something? I forget, but he was on something. Actually, it turned out again, so we can't see it anymore. I uh, thank you very much. Um, oh, I said crying because I'm in, wait, no, I don't know. It says flying because I'm because enjoying it so much. I think I meant to say something else, but basically, I'm enjoying it very, very much. So, of course, again, the leak scenes I well, the scenes that they released for promo, I knew them and I could, I knew the punch was coming, and I was so ready. I was so excited for the punch scene. I am sadistic. I was oh. very excited. And the green dress she was wearing, 
for the win. Um, and I felt so bad for Harding. You know, he was like looking around, like his stupid dad's like standing with Landon, showing him off to all of his yeah. friends. Actually, in the book, I'm pretty sure he does that to Harding. Like, it's not actually like that, where like it's so against him. But I did feel really bad for movie Harding. And a pint. Bravo. Bravo. I literally clapped my butt off. It was beautiful. So amazing. So amazing. And then I said, poor Mr. Lamp. May he rest in pieces because he smashes the lamp. And I felt bad for the lamp. He did nothing wrong. Um, yeah, so I, again, I loved Tessa's outfits. Don't know why everyone had such an issue with them. And um, I really just don't understand why everyone had such a problem with them. I thought they were so cute. I loved all of the outfits. Yeah. But, you know, everyone's allowed their own opinion. Everyone's allowed their own thoughts. Uh, yeah. So literally, yeah, Dylan's performance was outstanding. I feel horrible for being so like judgmental. Yeah, I'm against him. I feel really horrible actually about it. But I didn't expect him to kill it like this. That sounds mean. Um, I just didn't like the trailer totally led me down the primrose path of thinking it, it was gonna be something else. And it was amazing! It was so freaking good. He did absolutely incredible. Um, like it added a whole vibe to this movie that fit perfectly. Um, I really liked Tessa and Trevor's friendship. I thought they were just really cute as friends. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really thought it was cute that Harden went out and got a new lamp. I thought that was so cute. And then him writing in the book, because, yeah. I like to see Trevor getting clean with the, uh... Yes, that's in here. I was immediately, like, he had... Wait, hold on, we had to get that. Hold on. Uh, Tessa with her glasses, so cute. Hold on, we'll talk about it real quick then. Okay. Yes, when he made that call to to Harden and be like, and like after the accident, it was like, stop talking. And I'm like, the audacity! Where do you get off? You don't have a right to be doing this, sir. Um, and I was very happy he came clean because I did not expect it. He did, it. and it was really good that he did. Okay, so yeah, her glasses were so cute, and the New Year's Eve party dress. Let's go! Well, no, I I was excited that it was a New Year's Eve party because I knew what was going down because there's been so much like pictures and stuff from it and video and then i said the red dress uh I so I, one thing i kind of noticed i'm like it's almost like they wanted to shove all the old actors like out to like the smallest air time i felt like they had like little amount snippets. of time yeah little snippets that got thrown in but other than that they're like we don't really it's want okay because they were well, the main yeah, I really did enjoy the newer cast. That was really nice. And, uh, yeah. Yes, drunk Tessa. She is a funny girl. Tessa being a baddie. We love to see it. Uh, the truth or dare scene is amazing. Amazing. The only thing I have to say, I'm so sorry. That scene was incredible. Amazing. Mwah. That was the worst fight scene I've ever seen in my life. They legit, when they hurtled over that chair... The wig was, like, in orbit. Like, where was that? It was a totally different color. It looked like some cheap Party City wig that they got for five bucks. Like, that was the only part of the movie where I actually was like, what the hell is this? This belongs in, like, the first movie of low budget. What is this? Who filmed this? Tessa's stunt double wig went from, like, cheap Party City to, like, closer to her wig, but then a different shade of her wig. Like, I swear it changed colors at least three times. And I was just like, what in the hell? And yeah, um, proud of Tessa for throwing a punch. And yeah, the hair pulling. I don't, I, I believe in fist punching if we're going to fight. But that is, I'm pretty sure if I remember properly, that is how it went in the book. But it was just horrendous. I was like, this is so stretched out. And this is so bad. Like, what is this? But... <laughs> what yes it was so cringy i was like can we not stretch this out i'm done uh the happy new year bitch i'm on mars i was so done i was screaming that was amazing pia's acting was really good in my opinion um here's that see look bro here's acting so good because it was so freaking good he did so amazing like uh amazing i be, like i genuinely believe that man is Harden. you can't prove like i can't tell me otherwise uh so i always got really scared i was like oh no the accident's coming tessa baby no when i was texting my my uh after group chat hi ladies i love you uh the entire time i was like no it's coming this is scary um 
um, bitch, I don't know, like, if it was special effects, I don't know, like, if the van, if the ambulance was going slow, he ran faster than life. That bitch ran faster than the speed of light. I was shook. Did that man do track? Because he's a runner. Um, yeah, so then Trevor said, frick you to, to Harden. No business whatsoever to do that. And then, ouch, the note, the note Harden wrote for Tessa. How dare he do that to my heart? Um, the nine days, uh, if you're an after fan, you know, you know, I said in my, in my, in the group chat, I was like, thank God it was only two seconds. Cause reading that felt like an eternity. Um, I love his mom. His mom was really like, get your shit together, love and get the hell out of my house and go fight for your Tessa because I ain't hearing it today. Would love to see that. And all the proposal from Vance to Kimberly using Smith. Smith probably wanted nothing to do with it, but he did it. Good for him. The purple dress, beautiful. Um, and yeah, I said at least Trevor apologized. And then when they looked at each other when he was at the party and he was up there and she just drops her drink, I was like, <gasps> um, the way the, I love the way that she. They literally made us believe she was gone. She was out. I, I mean, know. I knew she was still there. I knew she was still there. I was like, she's still there. It's fine. But I was like. Why are they gonna stress us out and make us feel like she's gone? Because she was right there. It was beautiful. And I love the way that she was just still there. It made me very happy. Um, um, I love that they used the same Uber driver from the beginning. I did too. She had me cracking up. Um, let's, yeah, the tattoo. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, this ending. Yeah, this ending is the cutest. I really expected them to hurt us, but Thank yeah, I did man. it with OMG dad, because dad showed up. So yeah, so they really did end it nicely. Like, yeah, the whole dad thing, but it's no big deal. It's fine. I'm already a head book ahead. I know what's happening with that. Like, I'm fine. I thought they were gonna end it with like the nine days. I was like, oh no, that's not what I wanna see. No, so, the way they did. I appreciate yeah. that. And I, and I do kind of agree with you. It is kind of nice that they uh, they use more of the, the newer cast because it's, it's just so the good. The old cast is just, they, I mean, the people from school are school and we're focusing yeah, on Yeah, we're on the future. Get out. <laughs> we don't need to see you guys. We don't need to be reminded. But yeah. Um, so yeah. But yeah. Um, it was so amazing. 10 out of 10. 100 out of 10. So great. So sorry for any of my negatives. My, my doubts, my my negatives. I really, I'm so sorry, but I really thought the wor the worst of this movie. I really did not think it was gonna be as incredibly incredible as it was. And it abs and hey, I admit that I was completely wrong. That was an amazing, amazing, absolutely incredible movie. I 1,000 out of 10 loved it. I really hope it wins awards. I feel like it was really, really awesome. So good. And I feel like it kept a lot of the book alive, which was so awesome. Um, you know, it was actually pretty impressive for a movie to have that much of the book. It was just amazing, mother! Yay, How'd you feel? 10 out of 10, loved it. Yay! Yay. We got to watch it together, just like Yay. we got to watch the first one together. Woohoo! So, so amazing. I wish I could make you guys feel how I'm feeling. I'm happy. I'm, I, I absolutely loved it. I'm so beyond impressed and blown away. Made me feel all good, warm, and fuzzy inside. I love you guys so much, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I love you guys. Bye!